Thank you, Vance Frigo. Mr. Sobek Abuser, I'm not. I'm not a Sobek Abuser, I'm a Nike Abuser, and I'm gonna play... I pick, first picked Nike in hopes to make a YouTube video, or, you know, maybe not even a YouTube video, but just show you guys why Nike was so um, broken at the tournament. Why she was first picking, being first picked, and, uh, you know, all that good stuff. So the cool thing about Nike, or maybe not the cool thing, but the the thing that makes her really, really good is if you can get away with going blink instead of teleport, so you have blink thorns or blink beads or blink anything else, two team fight relics basically is what I'm trying to say, is that you're instantly going to be a lot stronger than a lot of other characters in solo if they go TP, right? Because if you, you know, imagine a normal team fight late game, you use both your relics, and if you have relic dagger, then you're getting so much value out of Relic Dagger throughout the entire game, right? Um, so if you have two teamfight relics and you have Relic Dagger and you're getting all that value, that person's going to have not only like one relic that isn't really doing all that much TP. I mean, it does a little bit. It's a good relic, don't get me wrong. But um, they're going to have one of those, and then they're also not even going to have Relic Dagger, so like they're not even getting as much value. So Start your two, level one, because you can group up the wave, and it's insane clear. This guy does have round shield though, so I gotta be a little bit careful. He also started lane. It's a little bit odd. Hey. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna blink over to this. Make sure I don't miss any minions. Try and get pressure on this next wave. Okay. So, hit Mercury just hit two, so I mean the blue is done. I never do stuff when you're off stream what you're talking about. But when you're on stream, I want to punish you with a Thanatos solo and yet again another Terra solo. Ow. Show me then hot auto cancels. This is a little bit awkward because it's kind of a rough matchup for me. As then it's a bad matchup. I missed that. Nice. I missed some minions there. I got zoned from minions because uh, they're pushing in his favor. Oh my goodness. <laughs> known with the $690 donation. What the hell is that? Be careful, Missed everything there. He's about to hit level 3 and I'm not, so it's going to be awkward. But yeah, this isn't one of Nike's worst matchups. Just because he can run me down and trade really hard. I can't really ever auto into him. But that's why I got so many extra health pots. Just uh, chill. He missed again. If I can push him in a tower here, not quite. I'm gonna hide behind my minions here so he can't get too much poke on me. He's actually really low. Pop another health pot. We still have one more and now we're actually winning. That's one HP. He doesn't have his passive right now, so. Okay. He's really low. Keep in mind, Warrior's Blessing is changed, so I will take a lot of damage to these minions. If I can get a rank 2-1, I might be able to kill. I don't want him to proc his Warrior's Blessing. Follow me. Follow me. I can maybe go for this blue now. He is playing up in the lane. Should be a kill. Nice. We have a ward on the blue, so we know if Mercury's gonna be on it. I'm just gonna clear and then go to it. He should be able to secure his Baco with his E minion. Attack. Nice, perfect. And I hit five off that. That's why Blink is so good to like go early on. You can make plays with it. People are afraid to. Uh... I'm just gonna try and back here. Hopefully, he goes to wave. I'm gonna get Teleria. Teleria is nerfed on this patch. So we got to keep that in mind. Two multi pots for trading because he has glad shield. He has no pots though, so every po all my poke that I do to him is going to be permanent basically, unless he heals enough off of glad shield. Um, but yeah, but no, sorry, I'm trying to do a play by play for Nike. You know that I appreciate that. Dono so very much, bro. We get some hype in the chat. I know you guys already did, but Ethan, thank you. And nose rack with the tier one. Welcome to the Fonzo family, nose rack. I appreciate you. 
be a little bit annoying to him. This is like no big deal. I'm just gonna poke him. Yeah, and he doesn't have pots, so this is good. I'll get you a Thanatos game in, Pinon, don't worry. It's a little bit awkward. I could have maybe won that trade really hard. I might actually just ult this. I think I'm going to. Now he's in a really bad spot. I'm gonna want him here. He's gonna have to ult out. And I can just jump after him. He doesn't have mana for it. That's a kill. <clears throat> so yeah, now that I'm doing already doing well in this lane, he didn't have pots. If he had pots there, no way I would ever out traded him or had a chance to kill him. But since he came back in, TP'd in with just Glad Shield because we forced a kill on him when he didn't have enough gold for both. In a bad spot. So in, in this matchup, you can kind of decide whether or not to just like rush Mystical Mail or go into Glad Shield as well because I mean since I'm already kind of winning the lane I could go glad shield like the idea is that I would just fight a lot and I actually would just out trade him with glad shield but also kind of the same thing applies with uh, mystical I gotta be a little bit careful here nice he ulted onto it so I gotta re-secure I'm gonna jump this way just so I can remove the tether I'm gonna wait a little bit because he could run me down with slows like we're good so we got his blue and we're just continuing the snowball. Mikey's clear is really good, even without using your one, just because you have AoE autos and you're two for grouping up the way. I don't want to take too much poke. He, right, he has his chalice now, so now he's in a fine spot, as long as he plays it well. Z Zataro, thanks for the Twitch Prime, or not the Twitch Prime, the Tier 1. Welcome to the Fonzo family. Yeah, you group up the wave, you can do that, and then you can just go like this and like back away with Teleria, and it's really hard for them to like, deal with you. Nice, we're chilling. I'm gonna go grab my blue keep farming. Right now. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Quiz. I appreciate it, buddy. So we have a lot of kill potential as well right now. He does have his chalice going. He's gonna try and heal with his glad shield. I just wanna try and space for that as much as possible like that. Forces two out. And then keep poking him. He's spacing as well though. Keep poking him. Your two does some decent damage as well, so. Using that on cooldown for poke is really nice. I could back for glad shield if I ha um, if I wanted to, but I can also just wait for mystical. I think I'm trying to poke him here and walk away from that. Try and poke him again with my two. Congrats him. for playoffs. Fine. Avoid his has two. Has the change to warriors blessing changed much in solo? No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. I don't want him here. He healed a lot off of that, but. He doesn't have boots yet, so I can always kind of stay in range with my one. I might blink ult him here. Um, he does have his passive. That's the only issue. But I have a lot of kill potential. Don't want him to get hit by that. I think I'm going to do it once these minions get in. Not quite. Not enough damage, unfortunate. I want to do that because his blue's coming up, and I know his TP's up as well. But Bach is here, so he should be a kill either way. Nice. Oh, there's a CERN here. Who the, why the heck is there CERN here? I'm just gonna try and back right here. I'm so close to Mystical, but I can't quite get it, so I'm just gonna go Glad Shield here. Kinda, whenever you're buying like uh, items like this, it kinda just depends on if you have enough gold for it or if you like want a quick power spike, right? So like, I have 2000 gold and I wanna go into Mystical, but I kinda also wanna stay out for a while. So I don't wanna go the tier two and just immediately back to base, right? So going for Glad Shield there is actually really good. Just a quick power spike, the CDR is gonna be really nice. What the heck is this, bro? His golden blade the just crossed and now he's dead. Show us the way. I have returned. I don't know what's going on. Turn. Beads. I'm gonna heavily out trade this guy. I don't know what that was, but it happened. So he, he had golden blade. So I walk up to him and he started taking tower because of it. And he died. I almost got a double kill. I was good. I was gonna get a double kill if Cern didn't beads. If his beads were down, he's literally dead. I also don't know why Cern was even there. I'm pretty sure Cern is their ADC. I don't know what a Cern is doing in my lane in eight minutes, but oh, my multi pod just keep healing. I do have Glad Shield, so I can get some procs of that from far. Didn't get the second of that, unfortunately, but I do have full boots over him right now. Keep glad shield procking. I'm probably gonna ult this just for a bunch of pressure. Oh, I didn't get it. That's unfortunate. No big deal. 
Feels a little bit laggy. Trying to avoid his glad shield procs. So even in the, like this lane, like he's gonna get permanent totems, right? Just because like he has the pressure in it. But I can win the lane if I just like um, let him get totems and get wave pressure off of it. Like yeah, he'll be getting totems, but at least I'll be trying like basically winning a matchup I'm not supposed to. Also, Tingler and Exalted Angel, thank you guys for the resubs. I appreciate it very much, guys. Should be a kill. Nice. This Bach is a beast. Just gonna hit this with my Baka. Figured if he saw me jump into it, he would come and hit it with me. Get a ward over the wall here. We're good. Nice. We can get this blue as well. Baka and I are running this right side of the map, but. But yeah, that, that's why I say when people save their relic, even from like the get go. Like some people think, oh, just don't buy TP and walk the lane and then like, then you can decide whether or not you want to go TP or blink. It's more of a playstyle thing or like what you're deciding from the beginning of the game. Like I bought TP right out of base because I can make use of it level one, level two, level three, like if I need to. Level five, say we fight a blue and I haven't backed yet, I could blink ult somebody and it might give me a kill that I otherwise wouldn't have gotten. So it kind of just depends on what you want to do. I wouldn't say like there's scenarios where you'd be like, okay, I don't have my relic yet and I need TP, so I'm going to buy TP. Or I, I can get away with going blink. I think you just do it from the get-go. That's just how I feel about it, but... Hey, Mirachi, thanks for the tier one side, man. Welcome to the Fonzo family. And look at this. I can back from a mystical. This wave is meeting right now, but I have Teleria, so I can get back soon enough. And I am 100% going Thorns against this team comp. Thorns is really good against Merlin, Mercury, and Cern. All three, I'm going to hard counter. And the build is probably going to be... I'm probably going to go into Onis, into Nemean. You can go Runic Shield on Nike if you don't have any other power. So I have Glad Shield, so I have a little bit of power from that. So I can go Onis and I'll be fine. That little bit of extra power is pretty nice. And plus I have Mystical for damage as well. So if I go Mystical, Nemean, Thorns, I literally will uh, do so much extra damage with the full tank build. <laughs> what is that? Uh... That Let's command. Attack, fire Attack, giant. Fire giant. I do a lot of damage to this guy with my mystical because he doesn't have a magical D yet. I don't want to ult this just because I don't really like solo killing in Osiris three levels down isn't really going to do me a whole lot. So I want to keep it up. On my way. I have Teleria. I'm going to make a rotation here. His blue is up so he should be worried about that. I'm going to pu push this midway first for pressure. I don't know if I'll get there in time. They'll probably back. Unfortunate. Okay. Maybe this red is up. I think Merlin was back there. I think I heard him. Poke this guy out. I can zone these guys out while we do gold. Osiris isn't right, so I'll never be here. I need to be careful of a Merkel. Looks like we're good though. Good I don't really need to back for anything. I actually might be able to go on this guy. Look at that clear. Um, should be good. Or maybe not. They're all five here. I'm dead. Okay, I was not expecting them all five to come into that, but that's okay. We do have Oni waves and uh, the X Fox pushing left. Well, that was a little bit weird. Yo, Coltrane, thanks for the tier one sub, man. Welcome to the Fonzo family. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I said this should be good, then he died. Yeah, yeah. I said I should be good. I thought I was gonna. I mean, it ended up being good. There were five people there. We got a tier two off of it, and. Uh, we ended up trading one for one anyway, so. But I, I don't think I should have ever died there. Kind of, uh. Good nutrition is important for a was not expecting them all five to be there. If Cern wasn't there, I was fine, because I had my blink and my jump up, so I could have gotten out. No big deal, though. Be careful. Be careful but yeah, I, I'm so big this game, Baka and I, so that we should just fight around us, but we kind of, uh, fought around Duo a little bit. That's why the kills are close. Good wish. 
The Cern has also been rotating a lot, so he's behind. Good wishes. I'm gonna get some farm. I did stay, didn't really push in many ways for that entire time. So if you can, basically the point of this gameplay is if you can learn how to play Nike in lane, you'll carry so many ranked games with her. She does so much in team fights. He's just came out, but I want to dive this guy in mid. I'm gonna blink on him. Because he's gonna have to beads. Because the slow is too potent. I meant to say attack middle lane. This should still be a good fight. This is Iris just ults it in. I'm gonna try and disarm him here if I can. Uh, sir, no, gotta be a little bit careful now. We still might be able to attack. I do have thorns up. I'm trying to poke and heal with my one here. That was a really bad decision for this guy to go this way. Uh, that's too bad. Might be able to kill this guy as well if I thorns. Mystical is gonna beat him down a little bit. Yeah, that's whatever. Nice. Bok is coming in for cleanup. So we have the tier two of that. I actually have enough for Relic Dagger and I want to make use of that right away. So I'm actually going to grab that instead. Now I have two team fight relics that are going to be on the really short cooldown. I have cooldown from this and health, which is good for my ult. It's just the perfect item. Oh, you'll see it to your nation. I can't believe... Wait, I just realized that... Did Panone, are you still here? Did you donate? Because uh, that was like the amount that we needed to reach our goal. I'm pretty sure it was. I can't quite see. But I'm pretty sure we're at our goal, which is absolutely insane. Thank you so much, Panone. You're the fucking best. You're the best. Try and grab this blue real quick. So I'm going to go Nemean last item. And it's the, it's the yellow numbers build, chat. That's what this build is. I get Nemean procs, Mystical Mail procs, Thorns procs. I was a little bit afraid to go on this guy because Mercury was around. They wanted to go on me, I don't mind. This Cern is just always in right, it's so odd. I need X Ball to come over. Why is X-Ball just pushing left like that? What? Why is this guy keeping the tether? Oh, he's tanking fire. Nike, my first god, I mastered. Keep up the good work. Just killing him. Nice. They're gonna be on gold now. They got Sundered. Hello. Thorns damage gonna be doing a lot here. If Merlin uses his abilities on me. Hi, remember me. Attack Look at this. <laughs> if he dashes. Oh, we got his, his freaking dash. That was insane. And then I get stunned. We kill Fap in the meantime. Careful, you're tanking, Baka. Oh my goodness. Hey, I'm not gonna go in there. I'll just die. You can get away with so much chat as an Ike, that's the thing. I'm gonna back. I'm gonna go Unease. I could go Shogun just because I'm really far ahead, but Unease is just makes it so I'm so hard to kill. Really good only magical defense item. Obama Yamama, thanks for the 300 bits. Thank you, my first god I master. Keep the good work. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yes. And Wish App B, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, dude. Welcome to the Fonzo family. Thank you, thank you. Superb. 
I'm going to Golden Blade. It's probably really good this pass, especially because she got buff. Kenoki, yeah, I remember you, of course. Thanks, uh, one dollar donut. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, x I'm going to go to this Pyro here just because he's pulling it in there around. Okay. Big Polo Polo Pee Pee. I just want a glad shield proc. That's his blink. I wasn't even gonna hit him. He's too fast. So last time we'll go Nemean, which is good against Mercury crit. It's good against this guy if he goes crit, which he's not, which is smart by him. Look at this. I can just keep this guy out the entire time. It's pretty true. His beads. Try and block his dash here. Oh, looks like we're good either way. I'm gonna try and make sure I hit him with my ult here just because I'll be so slow. I'm gonna auto him until I get out of range with, and then I use my one. Because he's slow the entire time. That's his thunder, and we'll just keep these guys out. I avoid this, Mer this uh, Merlin's damage. Pretty unavoidable poke for this guy. Oh, this guy ever kills me. I'm just zoning. He does hit me, but that might have been a, a little bit troll jump. Looks like we're good. I'm just kind of baiting. Team. You want to kill the Faf or the, the Merlin, buddy? Oh, Merkel. <laughs> this is a troll. I'm trolling this fight so hard. That Osiris is so slow. No way he's ever getting away. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was a perfect example of just saying how much, or showing how much you can get away with as Nike. That entire fight, I just was, like do whatever I wanted and put people on me. Just gonna force this flicker here, maybe. He just ate the whole thing, so I'm just gonna tank this up for my teammates. I'll we'll get the Phoenix for free. Baka is kind of going ham. The thing about Nike is that she she makes so much room for her teammates. Oh. Especially her jungler, so if you just like get a good initiation, the jungler can just choose whenever he wants to go in. Because you'll force so much and like Nike will really never die during it. Armor has been polished. I am ready. And we're I mean we're at the point where like I mean we've been at the point just because I got ahead. And they're they don't really have a good team comp into me, but I mean we're at the point where I could 1v5. And probably kill like one or two people. I might die, but I would definitely get them really low or kill them. I'm gonna take this red. I just have fire giant, so it'll give me a little bit of extra damage. Attack middle lane. What are you doing, buddy? Wait. Oh, oh gotta hit those. <laughs> Nike 2 is such a troll ability. I'm gonna try 1v5 here. I'm gonna have to ult the tether. Oh yeah, look at all of them. <laughs> oh my god, that knockup. Bacchus flop basically is Nike 3. We could probably end the game here. Push this guy into him. Okay, and that's it. Like I said, you can 1v5. 
And uh, you don't even really need CDR on Nike, to be honest. But you get CDR from, like, if you just go, if you went to go um, Glad Shield and you just went Relic Dagger, Relic Dagger plus Blue Buff, you're at 20%, which is a decent amount of CDR. Like, that's, that's fine. That's all you need. You're not building to just get a ton of your ones and your twos off in a fight. You're building so that your your ult is the most impactful thing. You blink ult, you either thorns or you just run people down. And then that's when you're really the most impactful. And you don't need a lot of CDR to do that. If you have Relic Dagger and Blue Buff, your ult's on a what? 75 second cooldown? It's perfect. It, it matches your blink and thorns cooldown perfectly if you have Relic Dagger, so really, really good. And yeah, that's the, the strength of Nike and why she was a top pick at the tournament.